The third secret of using pandas in an efficient way is something that I still forget sometimes. It is that when you're using pandas and you want to change something in your data frame, you have to think of your data frame or your data set as a whole. You shouldn't think of your data set as something that you can loop through to, you know, write a for loop or iterate through. It is possible to do that. It is possible. Pandas gives you the option to iterate through your data frame, go row by row and change things. But how you should think about it is basically in terms of conditions and by changing everything, writing rules that will help you change everything. So I still forget this sometimes. And then I write a whole for loop that takes like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to run. And then I find out how to do something in pandas. And before you know it, I write it. It's just one line of code instead of five lines of code. And it runs in half a second. Happens. <laughs> but just every time you're writing something to change something in your code in pandas, just think for a second or go research online. Just write down what you want to do and see if there are other people who are doing it more efficiently. That's just something that's just basically my go-to. I Even if I know how to do something, I still go and search for it to see if there is anyone else who is doing it in a more efficient way. So just to give you some examples of how this could work. So let's say I want to I have the age of people, but I also want to include the age that they're going to have in 10 years. So basically all I say is I create a new column called age in 10 years and take the age column series object and add 10 to everything, nothing else. You just do this and all of a sudden, boom, you have a new column. It's awesome. But you know, this could also be a little bit more advanced. So let's do this. I want to get their gender in binary. So there is males, females, and there is none. Maybe they didn't specify it. They didn't want to specify it, or they belong to a different group. Could be anything. So what I want to have is I want to have uh, zeros or one instead of female and male. And for none, I'm going to leave it as none. What I do is I say, take the gender column and apply the function that is in here on this column. That's all. And this is a, it looks a bit, a little bit confusing, but it's actually very simple. All I do is I say, if the value is male, then return one. If it's not male, then check if it's female, if it's female, return zero. If it's not, if it's also not female, then just return none. So let's do this and see what my data frame looks like. Yeah. And then now I have gender in binary. So as you can see, I didn't go one by one and check if it's male, put zero. If it's female, do this. Instead, I just put it in one line. This is also thanks to the Lambda functions of Python, these functions that you can write in one line of code. Just very neat. And yeah, that's all. So next time you want to do something in Python, make sure that you're doing it in an efficient way or effective way, because otherwise it means that you're not using pandas to its full potential and you might have some points in your code that will be bottlenecks for the whole for your whole program. But apart from some basic math that we did or just writing your own function from scratch, you can also just use the built in pandas function. So for example, I have users fill in a, then I can say this used to be empty. It just fills all the none or not a, a number values with whatever you gave it. So next time you want to uh, do something or even when you want to write a function, just first go ahead and search online and make sure that there is not a built in pandas function for it. This has been panda secrets that will make your life easier as a beginner. But if you're interested in learning about the functions of pandas and how they're used, go ahead and check out my pandas common functions cheat sheet. There I have definitions on, you know, on functions that will deal with missing values or deal with duplicates, or you can learn how you can change the values of the data frame. So I'll give you the definitions and the functions and also some extra tips and tricks that I don't talk about here. So go ahead and check that out. I will make sure to leave a link in the description of this video.